Hey, welcome to our first ever extravaganza Zoom meeting. So what I've done is I've invited a few of my friends to see if they could join me in figuring out a four digit code. Now you might want to stick around too, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them a series of questions, four questions, each one revealing a different number. And if you can figure out the four digit code with them, then stick around at the end. I will show you how you can register to win one of our special prizes using those four numbers. Hello? Anybody out there? Oh, hey, it's Ernie. Hey, Ernie, how are you? Oh, hey, John. Boy, it has been a long year, bud. Yeah, that was a long year. You haven't been quarantined until you spent a whole year in a Rubbermaid tub. Good morning, everyone. Am, am I on? Can anyone see me? I can't tell if I'm on. How do you know if everyone can see you? I've never done anything well, like- Well, Esther joined the meeting. How's my hair? I didn't get a chance to shower this morning. Oh, Esther, your hair is fine. You look great. Well, that Rubbermaid tub is murder on your hair. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report from the Outer Galaxy. Hey, guys. Hey, Grady. How's it? Grady, what are you doing? I'm going where no puppet has ever gone before. Really, Grady? Oh, hey, it's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. How are you doing? Uh, I think Grandma's muted. Yep, and I don't think she knows she's muted. Grandma? Grandma! Oh boy, she has no clue. She's not real good with technology. Esther, you can take your mask off. I don't think anyone's in danger of catching something from you. I mean, you've been locked up in a Rubbermaid tub for the last year. Plus, you're a puppet. You know, no respiratory system. What? Oh, <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh, that's so much better. My breath was killing me. Okay, I messaged Grandma that she's muted, but um, we need to get this meeting started. So anyway, as I was saying, extravaganza... The What's that crunching sound? Grady? Are you eating something? Huh? No. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just my mid mid morning snack. Grady, how about postponing your mid mid morning snack? Just so we can hear everyone? Oh, okay. I, I guess I could wait until my mid morning snack. Thank you, Grady. Thank you. Okay. So as I was saying, for extravaganza this year, we are going to be giving away some special prizes. Ooh, what kind of special prizes? Okay, well, there's going to be things like a new bike that we'll give away, and some Washington pool passes and fair passes, some Cardinal baseball tickets, uh, movie tickets. What do you have to do to get one of those prizes? There are four numbers you guys are going to have to figure out. And when you figure them out, you're going to text those four numbers to a number I'm going to give you here in just a minute. And when you do, that will register you for that special prize drawing. So, how do you figure out the numbers? Well, it's Easter. And so, I'm going to ask you four questions about the greatest event that ever happened in history. And the answer to those four questions will tell you each of the four numbers in order. Think you guys are ready to figure out the four numbers? Of course. Okay, so first question, here we go. The night before Jesus was crucified, on the cross, he met with his disciples and told one of them, Peter, that he would deny him how many times? I know, I know, three times. That's right, Esther, great job. So does that mean the first number is three? You're catching on, Ernie. All right, now, second question. Those who hated Jesus and didn't believe that he was the promised Messiah sentenced him to death along with how many other criminals? Oh, 
I I'm sorry, Grandma. You're still muted. H how many are you saying? I, I don't know what she's saying. I know. There were two criminals crucified with Jesus. One on his right and one on his left. Right? You got it, Ernie. And you see, the difference between the two criminals and Jesus was that, well, the two criminals deserved their punishment for their crime. But Jesus didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. He never sinned. Okay, we got two numbers, three and two. So, next question? Okay, this one's going to be harder. You ready? So when the Roman soldiers forced Jesus to carry the cross that he would be crucified on up a hill called Golgotha, how many soldiers were there when Jesus was being crucified? What do you think? Uh, one? No, Esther, not one. Two? No, no, not two. Three. You're just guessing, Esther. You have no idea. So you tell us, Mr. Bible Answer Man. Uh, uh, let's see. Well, based on the size of a typical Roman cohort and what was needed for a typical Roman crucifixion, I believe it was about 180 soldiers, give or take. Uh, not quite, Ernie. The answer is four soldiers. That's right, Grady. How'd you know that? Well, we know from the biblical accounts, along with the Old Testament prophecy, they divided up the garments of Jesus into four parts and they distributed one to each soldier, indicating that there must have been four soldiers. Where on earth did you learn all that biblical knowledge, Grady? Oh, uh, well, that's just what it says here on the Google. Hey, that's not fair. So, anyway, that's three numbers. Three, two, four. We have one more. Okay, so last question. And this is probably the most important number of all. Here we go. So when Jesus died on the cross, all the punishment for all our sin, he took on himself. And then he died, and they buried him in the tomb. But to prove that God had the power over sin and death, he raised Jesus to life on what day? Oh, I know! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Three! Can you hear me? It was three! Jesus was raised on day three, I tell you! Can anyone hear me? Hey, we can hear you, Grandma. Blasted computer! I've been talking the whole time and just figured out how to use this here moot button. But I have all four numbers. Three, two, four, and three. You're absolutely right, Grandma. And those four numbers are part of the greatest event in human history. The one that changed my life forever. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so, hey, if you're listening in on our Zoom meeting today, well, we want you to know that what Jesus did on the cross, he did for you too. You are so loved by God. But you know what? Like me, you're also very selfish and very sinful. And sin leads to death. And God hates death and he hates sin. But he loves us more. And so... He sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And then he raised him to life on day three so that you too might be raised to everlasting life. The Bible says, if you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved from your sin forever. So why not put your trust in Christ Jesus today? That's what Easter is all about, guys. So, that ends our first Zoom meeting, guys. Boy, I'm glad you got to join us. I guess I'll see you next time, huh? That was fun. Bye, John. And bye, everyone. <gasps> I don't know when we'll get to see each other again. Esther, you're in the room across the hall. I'll see you in about 30 seconds. Bye, everyone. I guess now's a good time for my mid-morning snack. Bye. Grandma. Oh, poor Grandma. Well, anyway, bye, John. 
Hey, maybe I'll see you at VBS this summer? Oh, I hope so, Ernie. And bye to all of you, and thanks for joining us. And don't forget, here's all you need to do to register for one of our special prizes. Just text the word DRAWING, followed by the four-digit code, and your last name to this number, 94000. That's all you got to do, and then you'll be registered. I guess for now, that does it. See you all later. Bye-bye.